<laughs> oh boy. We're in the same room together this time. It, it's too close for comfort. It is. Normally we're sitting on the uh on the opposite sides of the internet. So it's it's normally nice. But welcome to What's Up Thursday. Uh it's been a few weeks. It's, it's been a few weeks. We, we've had a lot happen. Yeah, between Holy Week and the week after Easter. Um and this past Wednesday, it's just been it's just been so much good stuff, but it's just been a lot of stuff. So welcome, welcome back to what's up during the week, because, uh, you know, as you can see, it's not always Wednesdays. But, it, but it's good just to have some stop points and checkpoints and places where you can kind of go, hey, we're still here. There's still really good ministry going on. And if it's good news, it's worth sharing. So here we go. Yeah. The, the young guy with the better beard, go first, man. What's up? Well, I, I will tell you, last night as I was getting ready, I decided to blow dry my beard, which I haven't done in a while. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. It, Do you use product in it? Oh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, look, if you're going to have a beard, you've got to do it. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so you can't you can't go productless in a, in a full-length beard. Okay. No, I'm going Don Johnson from the 80s. I don't really know. This, <laughs> go, so. go, go Google it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, one of the things I just wanted to um, plug some of the events that we've been having going. So uh, we started the 2918 Visioning. And uh, as I shared last night with the group that was there, I really wanted a microwaved one week vision where we rolled out some vision that was um, that was the right thing to do. But realistically, the vision for what's going to happen at Redwine is going to take some time in prayer, mm. some time in discernment, mm. some time in community, some time in conversation. And you can't microwave any of that stuff. Um, mm. This is all slow cooker stuff. And like I said last night, you don't want microwaved ribs. You want mm. slow smoked ribs that have been cooked all day. So come on. Um, I've had lunch, but I'm hungry, man. Let's do this. Come yeah. On. So on. on Wednesdays, if you're not coming, um, we really love would love for you to be a part of uh, what's visioning, what vision is happening here, and some of the holy practices that we've taken up on that Wednesday night. Um, and so if you need to bring dinner, bring dinner. If you want to see who's here and then figure out who you want to go eat with afterwards, do that. Um, <laughs> but man, that Wednesday night has really been, I know we've only done it twice, but it's really been very, um, very good for, for me and for Yes. What are you you have any thoughts on that? No, it, it's been it's been very refreshing. And as we ended up in the, the the last part of the second chapter of Acts, it was really getting into to, to where the mission of the church was birthed. They just didn't go out and just start doing. They, they spent some time allowing God's voice to kind of lead them and guide them. And it was daily. They consistently gathered for this stuff. So we're just going, if we can just gather weekly j- just to capture vision and, and, and to listen. Yeah. And, and as somebody, I said this last night, somebody that uses way too many words, I catch myself being more of a talker than a listener sometimes. And, and my heart and soul has needed to listen. So I think collectively we can, be, we can be better leaders when we're better listeners. That's good. Yeah. And then the other thing I wanted to plug that's been a really good thing. Uh, this is for the men uh, of Redwine and not at Redwine, the men of South Hall County or whoever's willing to drive. Um, every Thursday morning, um, I wake up before my alarm clock and before anyone wakes me up, which is something that literally never happens. Brian knows I work the night shift. Yeah. And, um, but Thursday mornings, I always wake up early because I always want to be in this men's encouragement group. And there's really not an agenda uh, other than men need encouragement and they need encouragement from each other. And so um, if you've not, if you're an early morning person and you have a way to put that into your calendar, or if you work the night shift, but you have a way to get that in your calendar, I'd strongly suggest being there. It's been, it's been good. And, and you're right. I, I see where my Thursdays um, have been. Um, my attitude's been better. Yeah. My energy's been better. And it's been good to get in the room with the guys and, and not just sit around and gossip and drink coffee. But, but to really encourage one another in the sense of how Christ encourages us. And um, t- tell us, because as, as, I, as I got up and, and, and looked at my phone this morning, I had a, 
had a message from Justin, and it was a really cool question from Truett Kathy. So, yeah, so, yeah. so give it, man. I think it was awesome. Yeah, sure. And this is not for just me. I think it's everybody. Yeah, yeah. Give yeah. It. So Truett Kathy has a quote that says, how do you know that someone needs encouragement? Mm. How do you know that someone needs encouragement? Think about that for just a second. You know someone needs encouragement if they're breathing. If they're breathing. Yeah. So Ow! there's everyone. If you're if you feel like you're the most encouraged, just imagine what would be if someone came and really uh, and lifted you up. So um, so be so be an encourager, but also know that hopefully somebody's going to return that gift mm -hmm. back to you and, and encourage you. It's one of those things that, that that we practice, but we also need to be receivers in some of that, too. It's not right. always about the giving part. Right, right, right. No, it's good. What do you have? No, and, and I think it's as we were thinking about today, and, and you said I'm going to share those two things. That 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 is a a, a lot for us to begin just to say, um, how can we be um, uh, more uh, more focused, more intentional, more of, of how God is calling us um, in this season of life? And there's just two wonderful opportunities, you know, for you to go. I can do that. Yeah, I, I can make a step with that. And, and, and just see what God has in store. I think God is always going, if we'll be faithful in a thing, I think we might be surprised at what God is up to by just being obedient and faithful. So right. I, I would ask you, whatever that is, if those two opportunities aren't where God's speaking into you, I would ask you to reach out to one of us and go, help me discern that, because part of our role is to help you be better in the kingdom. And wherever that looks like and where that looks like, um, but that, that's part of why we do what we do. Right, right. Last quick announcement is this Sunday is the final night for youth and kids for the year. We've got so many good things happening as we wrap up um, this school year. But uh, this was kind of our last week before we got Mother's Day coming up. We've got end of year banquets, graduation parties, uh, everything that's happening. So we're going to end this Sunday night, last Sunday. We've got some fun things planned for this Sunday. So if you want one last time for this school year, this Sunday is the night to come. And uh, and look, rumor has it Sunday morning we're celebrating a lot of seniors too. I, I had also heard that rumor, but uh, yeah. So thanks for joining us on the on What's Up the day that ends in why let's do this yeah and we're just excited to be in ministry with you and we love you and we can't wait to see you soon love you see you peace bye